Hello everyone. I'm Ryo Shibashi. I belong to Department of Physics at Chuo University in Tokyo. Today, I'd like to introduce my research. Identification of DNA loops by unsupervised learning is called multidimensional scaling. This content is described in our previous published paper. Uh, please access it if you are interested. This is today's outline. First of all, I touch on background. The expression is regulated by DNA loops. However, the mechanics is not well understood. It is important to analyze the formation of DNA loops. So we want to find DNA loops more accurately. It is our purpose. It is difficult to determine if it is a DNA loop from hash data. We want to identify DNA loop systematically. I'll explain uh, about it later. Next, previous studies. Hashi method is the most popular way to understand the structure of chromosomes that cannot be determined from the genome sequence alone. And there are methods to analyze Hashi data using machine learning, such as MDS. The example are mini MDS and STO Hashi. Both are good methods, but it is difficult to find DNA loops because it tries to uh, reproduce the entire structure. So the accuracy of the fine DNA loops is not good. Next, data and the method, Haishi data. In this study, we used Haishi data of Jacquard cell. This study indicated that SATB1 significantly contributes to the formation of genomic loops in T cells. Next, I explain about Haishi heat map. Areas with high probability of being contacted by the Haishi method are shown in red. So these square regions is considered to form a DNA loop. However, how about this square? It is difficult to determine whether a DNA loop is formed. So we multiplied the number of hash detections for distances between coordinates greater than 50,000 base pair by a distance-based weight. That's formula A, this. By doing this, we converted a Bagu hash heat map into a clear heat map. Uh, furthermore, MDS deals with distance matrix, therefore uh, we use the inverse of the high shear data as a distance matrix. Next, applying MDS to the high shear data. MDS looks difficult at first glance, but it is just a way to reproduce the original coordinates from the distance matrix. For example, this is reproduction of Japanese map from distance data between prefectures in Japan. It is very accurate. This is MDS. Then we applied processed Haishi data to MDS. We got these results. This is of course not a true chromosome, but a chromosome structure with a DNA loops highlighted. Uh, this seems to be DNA loop, so uh, if there is a transcription factor involved in forming DNA loops, it will support that uh, it is a DNA loop. Therefore, we collected DNA loops from all chromosomes. The procedure is shown in this slide. Uh, figure 5 is a plot of the distance between the point uh, in the previous figure. There are several peaks here, and these are considered to be DNA loops. Uh, we, set, we set the uh, threshold of three times the average distance between coordinates, and we acquired the coordinates uh, above the threshold and the coordinate at the root as a DNA loop, like this. 
because enhancers and promoters exist at the root of the DNA loop. Next, we mention the relativity of the DNA loops. We selected 5.1% of the total genome as DNA loops. Furthermore, 5% of the human genes were included in it. This indicated that we have selected a very meaningful region. Furthermore, the position of the enhancers um, examined uh, in existing study and the position of our DNA loops were in significant match. Finally, results. Enrichment analysis. Enrichment analysis is an analysis that explores the characteristics and trends of gene list. In all high -shield data, our method obtained transcription factors related to from uh, DNA loops. In this table, we obtain transcription factors involved in DNA loop formation, such as SATB1 and TBP. This is the result of biological replicate 2. The result was uh, similar to biological replicate 1. Finally, conclusion. By converting the high -shield data into distance matrix and using MDS, we obtained regions considered to be DNA loops. And enrichment analysis showed uh, many uh, transcriptions involved in forming DNA loops. So uh, our study is useful for identifying DNA loops. That completes my presentation. Thank you.